Okay, uh, we're asked to use the derivatives of sine x and cosine x to prove the following is true. Now, this differential, differentiating tan uh, x is equal to sec squared x, that's a common proof that you need to know. So this is how you would go about doing this, and this is something you should learn. The first thing you would do is that you would set your function as y is equal to tan x. And tan x is defined as the sine of x divided by the cosine of x. Now that's a quotient, u divided by v. So we could use the quotient rule where u is equal to sine x and v is equal to cosine x. So u dashed would be equal to cosine x and v dashed would be equal to the negative of sine x. So we would use our quotient rule and the quotient rule states that dy by dx is v u dashed subtract u v dashed all divided by v squared so it's just a matter of substitution at this point. So we would substitute in here. VU dash would be these two. So it would be cos, uh, cos squared x subtract. These two multiplied is negative sine squared x all divided by uh, cos squared x. Now, uh, subtract negative. This here would be actually be a positive. And we know that cos squared plus sine squared is 1. So this is 1 over cos squared x, which is, uh, by definition, sec squared x. So dy by dx is equal to sec squared x, and that's what we've been asked to prove for four marks in the first part. Now it says the tangent to the curve 2x tan x at the point x is pi by 4 meets the y-axis at the point p. Find the y-coordinate of p in the form k pi squared, where k is a rational constant. So we have a curve, and our curve for part b <coughs> is y is equal to um, 2x tan of x. Now you should spot straight away that this is a product with u and v. So our u is equal to 2x, and our u dash would equal 2, our v is equal to tan x, and our v dash is equal to sec squared x. Now, perhaps before I even went ahead with that, why am I differentiating? Well, I want to work out the tangent to the curve at the point x is equal to pi by 4. So I want to work out the tangent in the form y subtract y1 is m x subtract x1. And by that, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to work out a coordinate on the tangent and the curve that, and also the gradient. So the differential will tell us the gradient. Perhaps even before I do that, what I should do is put in x is pi by 4. If I put x is equal to pi by 4 in here, we get y is equal to 2 multiplied by pi by 4 and tan of pi by 4. And if you do that, you get y is equal to pi by 2. So our coordinate, our x1, y1, is therefore equal to pi by 4, pi by 2. So that's going to be very helpful to us. And now we need the gradient. So we're going to work out dy by dx, and we're going to use the product rule, uv dash plus vu dashed. And uv dash will be these two multiplied, so 2x multiplied by sec squared x, plus these two multiplied, so 2 multiplied by tan x. And so dy by dx... We can factorise out the two, so it's 2, and it's going to be x sec squared x plus tan x. Now we want dy by dx at x is pi by 4, so we're going to work out dy by dx at x is equal to pi by 4, and substitute that into this here. So it's 2 pi by 4, sec squared is 1 over cos squared pi by 4, plus tan of pi by 4. Now we should be able to work this out actually in our head, so that's 2, we've got a pi by 4 here. Now cos of pi by 4 is uh, root 2 over 2, so this squared would be uh, 2 over 4, which is a half. So this would be half, so it's 1 over a half plus 1. So this would be 2, 1 divided by half is 2, so this would be pi by 2 plus 1. So this would end up being pi plus 2. 
So therefore, and what before I go ahead, actually I should check up my calculator to check I haven't made a mistake. So I'll, my function, I'm going to differentiate my function 2x uh, tan of x, uh, like that. And I'm going to substitute in something. Uh, I'm going to substitute in pi by 4. So I'm going to substitute in pi uh, over 4. And it gives me that following answer, 5.142. Uh, now, is that equal to pi plus 2? Well, if I take away 2 from it, that's clearly pi. So, yes, I've got the right answer. So, therefore, I've got my gradient. Now, let's go back and, and uh, fill in our equation, therefore. So, we've got y subtract um, pi by 2 is equal to pi plus 2. That's our gradient, x subtract pi by 4. Okay, now what it said is it said that uh, it meets the y-axis at the point P, find the y-value. So where it meets the y-axis, if a curve meets the y-axis, the x-coordinate is certainly 0. So we're going to set at P, we're going to say that x is equal to 0. So y subtract pi by 2 is going to equal pi plus 2 multiplied by negative pi over 4, because I'm putting in x is 0. So y subtract pi by 2 is going to equal, well, that's going to be negative pi squared over 4, um, subtract pi by 2. And I can add pi by 2 to both sides, so y is going to equal negative pi squared over 4. Now, it asked me in the question to leave my form in, in that form where k is a rational constant. Clearly, k here, therefore, is going to be negative a quarter.